Guess what? It is now time for the final question. The top five will each have their chance to take the spotlight and reveal their personality and unique point of view. And at this point, it can't be easy. Very nerve wracking knowing that one billion people are watching worldwide. So ladies, speak from the heart is all I can say. It's good advice, Vanessa. Okay, here's the deal. Here's how it's gonna work. Our panel of judges have prepared their own questions. So now we will ask each finalist to pick the name of a judge who will then ask a final question. If needed, we will be using help from Precision Translating Services. Ladies, have 30 seconds to answer the question before they hear this bell. And we all want to wish them very, very good luck. Yes, let's begin with Venezuela. Okay, Venezuela, please. Venezuela, por favor, selecciona el nombre de uno de los jueces. Judge number four, Dave Navarro, your question, please. Hi, Dave. Hi. Congratulations. ¿Cómo estás? Felicidades. Listen, my question is this. Would you rather have a relationship with a man who's spontaneous and wild or a man who plays it safe? Te quiero preguntar lo siguiente, ¿prefieres tener una relación con un hombre que es espontáneo y es un salvaje o prefieres que sea algo más seguro? Ante todo, muy buenas noches, México lindo y querido. Eh, lo más importante en una relación es sentirte a gusto, sentirte que esa persona te complementa, que sencillamente es una persona que esté contigo well, para acompañarte, evening. para apoyarte. Mexico, beloved Mexico and beautiful Mexico. The first thing that you need to do in a relationship is to feel that it's a fair relationship, to have somebody that is good for you, somebody that will be your companion. Y creo que en cada relación siempre tiene que haber un poquito de cada cosa para poder mantener la llama de la pasión. And I do believe that in every relationship you must have a little bit of give and take so that you can have uh, the flame of passion. <laughs> Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Venezuela. Okay, next is Korea. Please pick the name of a judge. You've chosen judge number two, James Kaisen Lee. Uh, first off, congratulations to you and all the finalists. You're all incredible, beautiful women. Uh, honey, my question to you is, if you could have any type of superpower, what would it be and why? 예, 하나 쉽게 질문 드리겠습니다. 만약에 슈퍼 파워 중에서 하나를 선택하실 수 있다면 어떠한 파워를 원하시겠고 또왜 그런지 말씀해 주시겠습니까? 어, 제가 음, 미션하기 제 꿈인데요. Well, missionary work 있다면, is my dream. And if I were to 있다면, have a super power, 제가 가진 재력과 그리고 제가 가진 재능과 제가 가진 모든 것으로 행복을 나누는 사람이 되고 싶고요. I would like to have a superpower that enables us to or me to use more all my power and all my authority and my money to help the missionary work and people around the world. 그리고 써도 써도 슈퍼파워가 있다면 물론 돈을 써도 써도 줄어들지 않는 지갑이 있겠죠? 그것도 또한 있으면 좋겠습니다. And actually I would say that a wallet that never dries up would be a good superpower for me to have. <laughs> Thank you, Korea. Thank you, Korea. Okay, next is Brazil. Brazil, please pick out the name of a judge. Brazil has cho chosen judge number 10, Michelle Kwan. Your question, please, Michelle. First of all, congratulations. My question is, is it better to live life following your heart or following your mind. A minha pergunta é a seguinte: a vida você tem que viver seguindo a sua mente ou seguindo o seu coração? Eu acho que a vida precisa de um equilíbrio e a mente vai junto com o coração. Mas principalmente, uma pessoa precisa ser verdadeira e passar sua mensagem para o mundo. Obrigada. Boas noites, México. I think that in life there should be a balance. Both the heart and the mind is important. But the most important all, the most important thing of all is that you follow what you think is true to your heart and to the better of everybody. Thank you, Mexico. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, Thank you, Brazil. next is USA. Hello. Take a judge. Yes. Okay. Uno momento, por favor. She has selected judge number one, Tony Romo. Your question, please. If you could go back and relive one moment in your life, what moment would you pick and why? I would have to say I would go back to January of 2007 when I traveled to South Africa to volunteer at the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. I'm very passionate about education and being there in South Africa just sparked my interest even more uh, for education and all that I can do for that. So that's where I would go. I would go back to South Africa. So buenas noches, Mexico. Mucho Thank gracias. you very much, Mucho USA. Gracias. Thank you very much, USA. All right, next is Japan. Japan, please pick out the name of a judge. Japan has selected judge number three, Nina Garcia. Your question, please. Congratulations to all of you. Look beautiful tonight. What is the one lesson you learned as a child that still affects your life today? Hola,メヒコ。え、私 I've been dancing since I was a child. そこで学んだことはたくさんの生徒さん、たくさんの大人の中で囲まれて育ってきたので。I lived my life growing up among, among many students and teachers. その時にいつもハッピーでいること、いつも我慢強くいること、そしていつもポジティブに考えること。I learned how to always be happy, to be patient and to be positive. そして今私がこの学んだことを次の世代の子供たちに教えたいと思います。And this is what I want to teach to the next generation. Thank you. Thank you, Japan. Excellent job, ladies. Yes, excellent job. Now, judges are going to have a tough decision to make. It's going to be real tough. So everyone, please stay with us. We'll be right back. Who will win the title Miss Universe 2007? Who will take off on an unforgettable year of dreams and superstardom? The answer only minutes away. Stay tuned live here on NBC. NBC.